Yes. <laughs> Citizens of the Reject Nation, it's me, Tara Erickson, and I don't know why I have a terrible accent. That was awesome. Yes. This is my host, oh. John um, <laughs> Humphrey. Hey, you got there. Oh, I did you it. You got there, Terry. How are you, John? I'm good. I'm wishing I had a better Ryan Reynolds impression for you. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty I mean, good. I can do it sometimes. It'll get better as the movie goes. Okay. All right. I'd like to see it. Who here has like a low-key obsession with Ryan Reynolds? Because me a little bit, but it's from my show. Welcome to Wrexham. Have you guys? Oh, if you don't know out. about it, what's he's your favorite in this. Ryan Reynolds joint? Exactly. You got to write it down right now. Me, currently, my favorite Ryan Reynolds is Welcome to Wrexham. Thanks to Prep for helping us edit down these videos. Also, you get super sexy. You got to get on the Patreon. You can sync up with your own copy and watch most of all of the proposal with me and John. Also, Greg and John offer exclusive highlights and watch alongs over there on Patreon. So if you go over there, you get sexy, but not just like sexy. He's like super. Super sexy. Like, you see how he touches so, butt? And it burns! <sighs> it's burning with sex! <laughs> okay, are we ready to watch it? It's almost, but you missed the most important, iconic what? part of the intro. What, what so is it? You gotta it? leave a like. Oh but more important God! than leaving a like is the part where you... <gasps> Ring the bell! Ring the bell! You guys, how did I forget that? Guys, I'm not being true to myself, but thank God I am in <laughs> Christmas gear and oh my God, Santa, no I pesky. know him! I know, I'm killing John's ears and I'm killing you guys, but we're gonna get into it. We're gonna watch the proposal and get this. <laughs> the longest intro ever. Two, <laughs> one. Ooh, I like this song. Ooh. I'm in it. I'm in it. Let's get it. Oh, it's like a really low-key version of the Evil Dead shot. <laughs> Wait, now what movie oh. is that? Oh, well, this song will get you going. Yeah, man. Uh -oh. Plus, what a great setup. She can bike in the city and in the woods all at the same <laughs> time. M Malin Ackerman? Ah! That's Crickety Nelson? You need to set that clock, though. Oh. Betty White. Betty White! Get out of town. You're my golden girl, Tara. <laughs> Here you go, your regular lattes. Literally saved my life, thank you. Thank hey. You. Oh, she likes him. Is this free guy right now? <laughs> Maybe he wants a cappuccino. Maybe. He found his way. Well, he did. Okay. It was a very, very, you know, portentous song. <laughs> yeah. One of those mornings. Thank you, Captain Obvious. Oh! Oh! oh, wait. oh. oh sorry. Jesus! <laughs> Whoa, dude. <laughs> that was so loud. Yeah. A little pent up this yeah. morning. Don't don't talk to you till you've had your coffee. But D? Trick that thing down. Leave the shirt off your back. Literally. Oh. You're kidding, right? right? Yankees, Boston, this Tuesday. Two company seats for your shirt. You have five seconds to decide. Five, four, three, two, one. So quick. Quick countdown. Oh. Uh oh! oh my Everybody gosh, look busy. It? Oh, it's she's she's called an it. it. That means she's a monster. <gasps> oh. oh my god! Uh oh, I'm terrified too. Although she does look very good. Morning, boss. You have a conference call in thirty minutes. Yes, yeah, about the marketing of the spring <laughs> books. I know. Did you call him? Oh, what's her name? The one, the one with the the ugly hands. Oh my! <laughs> so your immigration lawyer called. He said that it's imperative. You cancel the call. Push the meeting to tomorrow and keep the lawyer on the sheets. Oh and. Get a hold of PR and have them start drafting a press release. Frank is doing Oprah. Wow. Okay. Queen. Who is Jillian? And why does she want me to call her? Oh. So cute. Well, that was originally my cup. And I'm drinking your coffee. Why? Because your coffee spilled. Oh, no. Murder him. Stab yeah. him in the gut. So you drink unsweetened cinnamon light soy lattes. I do. <laughs> it's like Christmas in a cup. <laughs> Sounds delicious. And you would know. I would. I'm like Christmas in a cup. <laughs> Why are we headed to Bob's office? Uh. Oh boy. <laughs> <laughs> God, this office chat. Whoa. Have you finished the manuscript I gave you? Uh, I read a few pages. I wasn't that impressed. Ouch, man. I've read thousands of manuscripts, and this is the only one I've ever given you. There's an incredible novel in there, the kind of novel you used to publish. Uh, wrong. Oh, no. And I do think you order the uh -oh. same coffee as I do, just in case you spill, which is, in fact, pathetic. <laughs> How many days has he not spilled it, though? 
Yeah. Give him a little credit, witchy. Fearless leader on her leash. Please, do come in. Hey, mm. I'll see you V. Is it new? It is English Regency Egyptian Revival, built in the 1800s, but yes, it is new to my office. <laughs> <laughs> I like the way you think. I'm letting you go. <gasps> no. No, why? He just got a, a hatch thing. Asked you over a dozen times to get Frank to do Oprah, and you didn't do it. That's a lot of times. <laughs> I have told you that is impossible. Frank hasn't done an interview in 20 years. Well, that is interesting, because I just got off the <laughs> phone with him, and he is in. Oh, bad. I will give you two months to find another job, and then you can tell everyone you resigned. Okay? Ouch. Okay. Well, at least Tough she's kind of nice about that. A little. You poisonous bitch! Oh. You can't oh. fire me! Oh, uh, fire me. You no. are threatened by me. Bob, stop. Just because oh. you have no semblance of a life. Oh. Uh-oh. That you can treat all of us like your own personal slaves. You know what? I feel sorry for you. Man's is living the dream. <laughs> He's really getting in there. Listen carefully, Bob. I didn't fire you because I feel threatened. <laughs> I fired you because mm -hmm. you're lazy, entitled, incompetent, and you spend more time cheating on your wife than you do in your office. Ooh. You are going out of here with an armed escort. Andrew will film it with his little camera phone, and he will put it on that internet site. Uh, what was it? YouTube? Exactly. Oh. <laughs> it's this World is Star? that old? <laughs> we don't know about YouTube? Yeah, come on. Or at least put on E-bombs World. This so weekend, help review his files and his manuscript. Yeah. This weekend? You have a problem with that? No, <gasps> I, I, I just, my grandmother's not But it's his weekend. <gasps> Grandma. Listen, I've worked too hard for this promotion. I throw it all away, okay? I'm sure the dad is pissed. But we take all of our submissions around here very seriously and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. <laughs> <laughs> is that your family? Yes. They tell you to quit? Every single day. <laughs> oh. Yeah, okay. We're gonna mole I wanna see you upstairs immediately. Come get me in ten minutes. We've got a lot to do. Okie doke. Stressful. Poor Ryan Reynolds. Ryan Reynolds working for <laughs> the weekend. weekend. Margaret, do you remember when we agreed? that you wouldn't go to the Frankfurt Book Fair because you weren't allowed out of the country while your visa application was being processed. Yes, I did. Is she Canadian? Your visa application has been denied. Well, that, that... And you are being deported. Whoa. What? Oh, Come damn. Come on, it's, it's not like I'm even an immigrant. You've been pushing that meeting, girl. I'm from Canada, for Christ's sake. There's got to be something we can do. She is Canadian. Can't nice your way out of this one. But unfortunately, you have to leave the country for at least a year. OK. <laughs> This is guitar tones. Uh, uh. Until this is resolved, I'm going to turn oh operations God. over to Bob Spalding. The guy I just fired. <laughs> uh. If there was any way we could make this thing work, we'd be doing there it. There is no way I am, I am begging Oh, no. Oh, there oh. is. What? What? Mary from Ms. Winfrey's office called, no. but I told her you were otherwise engaged. She insisted. So. Engaged. <laughs> <laughs> Mary. <laughs> All these words. <laughs> oh, no. Look. Uh-oh. Oh, we were getting right to it. Oh, all right. Well, <laughs> I think there's something that you should know. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. We're, uh, we're getting married. <laughs> uh, with a pat. We are. Getting married. We are getting married. Yes. Isn't he your secretary? Assistant. Executive mm. assistant secretary. <laughs> Yeah. Promoted, demoted, and re-promoted all in one conversation. You know, Andrew and I were, we are uh, just two people who weren't meant to fall in love, but we did. Oh. We did. <laughs> <laughs> His face. So dear. Oh, my God. Can't, can't fight a, can't, can't fight a, can't fight a love <laughs> like ours. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. Such great, subtle physical comedy. Yeah, it's so good. Just make it legal. Hmm? Oh. Hmm? <laughs> Thank you very much, gentlemen. We will do that right away. Thank you very much, gentlemen. Thank you. Gentlemen. Gentlemen. Who is the gentleman behind the desk? He looks so familiar. Oh, yeah. He works like a ton. Yeah, uh, yeah. I don't understand what's happening. They were going to make Bob chief. So naturally, I would have to marry you. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to marry you. Sure you are. Whoa. Because if you don't marry me, your dreams of touching the lives of millions with the written word are dead. Yikes. Can't work for an American company, but I can have. torpedo you. But don't worry, after the required allotment of time, we'll get a quickie divorce and be done with me. But until then, like it or not, your wagon is hitched to mine. Okay? Although there's something very, very appealing about her sense of authority. Hop she on says that things. witch bro, man. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Abracadabra, baby. Uh. <laughs> 
Are you both committing fraud to avoid her deportation so she can keep her position as editor-in-chief at Colden mm. Books? Excellent deductive reasoning, sir. <laughs> Let me explain to you the process that's uh. about to unfold. Step one, I'll put you each in a room and I'll ask you every little question that a real couple would know about each other. Oh my. You, young man, will have committed a felon punishment Ooh. by a fine of two hundred and fifty thousand dollars <laughs> and a stay of five oh years my goodness. in federal prison. What? They're both beautiful. Just let them get married. Yeah, it's the way the world works. Let them just do it. The truth is, Margaret and I are just two people who weren't supposed to fall in love, but did. See, knows the value of a good callback, good motif. We couldn't tell anyone we worked good with. Good theme stated. Because of my, my big promotion that I had coming up. Promotion? <laughs> yes. <laughs> we both felt uh, that it would be uh, deeply inappropriate if I were to be promoted to editor while we were. Yeah. Have the two of you told your parents about your secret love? It's impossible. My parents are dead. <laughs> no brothers or sisters either. Hey, that's like me. Hey. <laughs> Dude, you're Sandy B. I am. What, are your parents dead? No, his are, his no. are very much alive. You're going to tell them this weekend. Gammy's 90th birthday. <laughs> you thought it'd be a nice surprise. And where is this surprise going to take place? Mm. Uh -uh. Sitka. Sitka. Alaska. Alaska. Yes. <laughs> I will see you both at 11 o'clock Monday morning for your scheduled interview, and your answers better match up on every account. Woof. Oh. Thing you said about being promoted? Genius. Yeah. You completely fell for it. I was serious. I'm looking at a $250,000 fine and five years in jail. That changes things. Yep. Yeah, it does. No. Then I quit, and you're screwed. Bye-bye, Margaret. Andrew. It really has been a little slice what? of Andrew, happy. Andrew, fine. Wow. Fine. And you'll publish my manuscript. Yes. Yeah. You tell her. Give me a cocktail napkin and a pen. Yeah. Now, ask me nicely to marry you. Get down on one knee. Mm. What does that mean? You heard me. On your knee. Yes. Ah, oh my gosh. No way. <laughs> yes. Mm. Like a gentleman. Oh my. Oh. But that skirt, yeah, it would be hard. Yeah. Say it like you mean. Yes, daddy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> Okay, I don't appreciate the sarcasm, but I'll do it. Yes. At the airport tomorrow. <laughs> oh, <laughs> buddy. Sick burn. I love their, uh, yeah, like the way their power dynamic is shifting <laughs> and, the, and the way they're really not relying on suspension of disbelief to sell this. Like It's so great. Everything is like, no, these are the obstacles. <laughs> <I guess." laughs> Good news is, is I know everything about you, but the bad news is that you have four days to learn all this about me, so you should probably get study. Do you even care enough to learn? What am I allergic to? Pine nuts and the full spectrum of human emotion. <laughs> Do I have any scars? I'm pretty sure that you have a tattoo. Two years ago, your dermatologist Move called tattoos. and asked about a Q-switch laser and found that they, in fact, do Move remove tattoos. tattoos. So <laughs> what is it? Japanese calligraphy? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Whose place do we stay at? Yours or mine? That's easy. Mine. And why wouldn't we stay at mine? Ah, uh, because I live at Central Park West. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and you probably live at some squalid little studio apartment with stacks of yellow penguin clouds. <laughs> Rude. Don't knock my penguin classics, all right? Yellow is personality. I agree. <gasps> is that his mom? Hey, oh! oh Betty her. Of course, that would have to be Graham. Gam Gam would have to be Betty Wyatt. His mom plays the mom in all rom coms in the 90s. <laughs> yes. Like, she is the mom in Elf. Universe. She's the mom in. Oh, what other oh movie? My God, she you're plays right. a mom in like every. Mary she's... Steenburgen is America's yes, mom. Yes, she is. <laughs> Ooh, Bill Paxton. Okay, a lot of Paxton. This is the person she needs to find and beat down in front of everyone to establish dominance. Agreed. <gasps> it's him. Oh my God. He's a Paxton. You didn't tell me about all the family businesses, honey. He was probably just being modest, dear. Do we just own the town? Yeah, like the whole thing. We just own New Asgard over here. Look deep into my eyes. Shouldn't we check into our hotel right now? Family doesn't stay at a hotel. You're going to stay in our home. Great. What? Oh, God. You don't want to use your legs to lift that one. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Help her with those. I'd love to. She won't let me do anything. She insists on doing it all herself. She's one of those, uh, she's feminist. <laughs> <laughs> she's a girl boss, <laughs> at the very least. <laughs> <laughs> 
Oh my god, uh -oh. no. It's Louis Vuitton. Louis V? I'm not getting on that boat. You don't have to. I'll see you in a few days. You know I can't swim. Hence the boat. <laughs> 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 Looking good, boss. Jeez. <laughs> She's gonna fall. Yeah. Into his arms. Aww. <laughs> <laughs> She's in a life jacket. Guys, you gotta learn how to swim. Let me just just learn how like to swim. It's like a primal skill it's a thing. you there, should we, have we on should a just... 70 to 80% water planet. Yeah, you gotta know. Whoa. Whoa. She's like, wow, I had no idea. Who are you, people? You thought <laughs> so little of him, and look at him in his big mansion now. Yeah. I wonder what this movie would be like if it was just like a modest studio apartment. You're right. Or like a regular family home in a no, suburb No, it wouldn't somewhere. work for a rom-com. One of them always has to be loaded. That's true. You never told me you were rich. I'm not rich. My parents are rich. You know what? That's the only rich people say. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh, that's fair. People need to think that we are in love. So let's just... That, hey, that's no problem. I can do that. I can pretend to be the, the doting fiancé. That, that's easy. You know, but for you, it's, it's going to require that you stop snacking on children while they dream. Mr. <laughs> Kendrick, <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, Margaret. Hi, pleasure. So I always wanted to know, what does a book editor do? Well, that's a great question, Louise. Oh. oh my gosh, coach. America's dad? Look at him. Why don't you tell us exactly what a book editor does? I mean, besides taking writers out to lunch and getting bombed. Hmm. <laughs> No wonder you like being an editor. No, no, he's not an editor. He's an editor's assistant. Maggie here is the editor. Oh, Whoa. all right, Dad. Slow it down. What's your game? You show up here after all this time with this woman you hated, and now she's your girlfriend? We just got here. Can we wait two seconds before we throw the kitchen sink at each other? Just never figured you for a guy who slept his way to the middle. Mm. <laughs> mm. Ouch. She's my fiance. Getting married. Ooh. Okay. Hey! Hey, look at him! What's up? It's a tradition. Oh, but see, it's the, the texture. I'm not a I'm fish person. like it. Uh, You're very, very sweet. I, I think if you it. want... Oh, my! Oh, right in the hole there. <laughs> I have a very important announcement to make. Margaret and I are getting married. <laughs> oh, yeah. Come on down here, pumpkin. Pumpkin. <laughs> pumpkin. Latte. Come on, pumpkin. This is brilliant. Brain time. Andrew. Uh-oh. Oh, is that his ex? Hey, hi. <laughs> wow. And we're being completely rude. Hi. Oh. Ooh. Did I miss the story oh, like... about how you proposed? Oh, how a man proposes says a lot about his character. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Andrew and I were about to celebrate our first anniversary together. And I knew that he'd been itching to ask me to marry him. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. But uh, that's not exactly how it happened. No? No. <laughs> um, the game is afoot. That she might find this little box. Oh, I... the decoupage box that he made. <laughs> Tiny little pictures of himself. Yes. Aww. Just pasted all over the box. That's so cute. Oh, so beautiful. I miss decoupage. Yeah. But inside that box, mm. the address to a hotel, date, and time. Real Humphrey Bogart type stuff. Mm. Yeah, Bogart shit. There he was, standing, kneeling, like a man. on a bed of rose petals in a tuxedo. And he was choking back soft, soft sobs. Oh my God. And when he held back the tears and finally caught his breath, he said to me, Margaret, will you marry me? And she said, yep. Yep. Hey, let's see a kiss. <laughs> <laughs> I can see kiss, how she's kiss. an editor. I can see it. Yeah. She can, she can weave a yarn. She can do it. Oh, ready? <laughs> oh. Who's this? Like it. Jesus, man. Mm -hmm. The best winger. Wingman. Mm -hmm. Oh. oh. <laughs> Andy. <laughs> A real kiss. <laughs> A real one. <laughs> A yeah. Real one. Give us what we want. Just do it. Oh. Kind of like um. it. This is your bedroom. Wow, this is... um. Beautiful. So nice. Yeah. And here's the bed. <laughs> Thank you. Here's the bed. Oh, oh my oh, God, it's so yeah. cute. You are cute. What a little puppy. Just, uh, rescued him from the pen and he's still in training. Sorry. Just be sure you don't let him outside. Or the eagles will snatch him. Oh, oh, mm. oh, no. 
Good night, everybody. Good night. Good night, America's mom. Uh, you don't have a sleep mask? Yeah, right? You seem like a sleep mask type of person for sure. Yeah, I agree. And earplugs, too. <laughs> yes, and a white noise machine and a humidifier. Yeah, the whole thing. I mean, she had like a whole screen of like the woods to cycle with. <laughs> yeah. Hey. Oh, look at that. And now we're ready for the purge. Andrew. <laughs> <gasps> Business is calling. Uh oh. <laughs> where is it? Purse. <laughs> <laughs> Frank, Frank, darling, you there? Hello, hello. I have horrible service, Frank. Give me just, just uh, one minute. Oh my God, Margaret. Jesus. She's probably never sounded like this over the phone no. before. Oh, sweet puppy dog. Oh my God. Cutest dog I've ever seen. The eagles. I love listening to you, Frank. <laughs> Shh. Sit. Sit. Good boy. He's a good boy. No, no, good not Frank. No, no, no. No, you don't sit, Frank. No, Frank, if... <gasps> no, not the eagle. The eagle will eat him. They are just so rich with... We should all be privy to. And Frank, I just... Uh, I just... Uh, I just want you to be happy. Frank, give me... No! no! They really oh, did it. Oh, oh, oh. <sighs> oh my gosh, I was so worried for the puppy. <laughs> this uh, movie wastes no time with anything. It really doesn't. And, and call me tomorrow with your decision. And my phone is on. Oh my, my goodness. Phone. No. no. Oh. oh, love it. No, no, take the doggy. Take no. The doggy. <laughs> oh, geez, no. Not the doggy. <laughs> So we can barter. <laughs> we can work this out. <laughs> we thought she didn't like him. Will you go get her, Andy? We have a whole day planned for her. Yeah, tell her we have a big surprise for her. Uh oh. Mm -hmm. I don't like surprises. Okay. That eagle's gonna like swallow her phone. <laughs> yeah. You drunk? No, I'm serious. He's got my phone and Frank's calling me on that phone. Relax, all right? We'll, we'll order another phone. Same number. We'll go into town tomorrow and we'll get it. Really? Yeah. I guess you can do that. He solves problems. Where are we with SIM cards? Oh, you're going out with mom and the girls. I don't want to go Shopping, out. Shopping, sightseeing, and a surprise. <gasps> oh. Oh, give me a nice big hug. We don't no, want to think we're fighting. No, I don't want to. No, I don't want. I don't want. I don't want to. Andrew. Oh, there we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you were the one who said we got to sell this. <laughs> Start selling, lady. Yeah. Hmm. Want to see me? Apparently, I wasn't the most gracious of hosts last night. Was a little bit of a shock to find out that you're getting married. I owe you an apology. Okay. You're a good guy, Dad. I've done a lot of things in my life. Practically built an empire with your mother from the ground up. Yeah. It doesn't mean anything. Unless must... you have someone to leave it to. Yeah, we've already discussed this. Yeah, dad. I'd like to discuss it again. Ooh. Yikes. You have responsibilities here. But he wants to write stories. I need you to quit Ooh. playing around. Here we go home. again. When are you going to start taking what I do seriously? Yeah. I wish you had another son, I really do. One who wanted to stay here, one who wanted to take over the family business, one who wanted to marry someone that you approve of. But it's not me. Now, Ouch. it must seem strange to you, my life in New York, sitting in an office, mm -hmm. reading books. But it makes me happy. I love books. You know, if that's what makes you happy, son, I got nothing to say. Then why the hell are you so sad? Yeah. Apology not accepted. Have fun Ouch. Your son isn't you, sir. He's his own man. Yeah. Have another son. Yeah, man. Just find somebody else. Yeah. Thrust your empire and your legacy upon that child. I agree. I, I hope oh, you yeah. are ready for your big surprise because this is one of Sika's greatest treasures. Right? Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, is it a stripper? <laughs> With like a moose head or something? What is this? Oh, does she have to? Oh, it's okay. You are going to love it. Oh, oh yeah. Hey. Who is it? Who's Who it is gonna it? be? Who's it gonna be? Who's it gonna be? Hey, hey. my man. <laughs> uh, uh, it's just like when Buzz on Psych was also a stripper. It's just perfect. <laughs> Don't do it when you wanna go to it. Relax. Moan's the only exotic dancer on the island. But we're lucky to have. <laughs> yeah, get that Michael Jackson leg in there. <laughs> 
gun to heat. I made twenty dollars stripping once. <gasps> wow, yeah. John. Yeah, yeah, it's crazy. Oh my goodness. True story for another day, Tara Erickson. John's a stripper, and we didn't know it. <sighs> Get up there. Okay, pluck my eyes out. Okay. All right. Oh, bachelorette Get up there, party. Girl. Have a little fun. Yeah. Give it to a Ramon. Uh huh. Ramon. Oh, let's go. My Get man. It. Big respect. Yes, sir. <laughs> He's going for it, and I respect this it. This is great. I respect it. Never be able to watch Office reruns the same way again. Nope. Oh, oh my gosh. Keep keep it in your mouth, man. Smack his ass. <laughs> Smack his ass. Okay. And, um. <laughs> yeah, time it right. Come on, you can do it. <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> uh -uh. No, no, no. Hey, there you are. The Paxton's can be a bit overwhelming at times. Yeah. <sighs> you guys are pretty serious, huh? Well, I mean, we dated in high school and all through college, but we were kids. <laughs> oh, boy. That's almost a decade. That's a long time. You're a lucky girl. He really is the best. Oh. Mm. Well, cheers to you guys. Oh, cheers. That's so nice. Cheers to you guys. Cheers to you guys. So sweet. Oh, no. Uh-oh, what? Oh. Oh, no. What's going on here? Oh. Yeah, oh, yeah, letting some inner rage out. I've always dreamed of doing this. Bad convo with a dad, so let's, he, you've dreamt of axing a log to make a boat? Yes, exactly. All right. Exactly. It's channeling your rage into something constructive. Yes, Tara. I would love to go to a rage room. Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, I have never too. been. What did you do? I didn't do anything. I mean, I just had a, a frank conversation with him about his future. Yep. <laughs> I only get to see him every three years because of you. I've had enough. You are going to be supportive of him marrying. <laughs> mm. <laughs> That's a sign. You are going to fix this, Joe. I mean it. Fix it now. Fix it, Joe. Yeah, she just took the pant, the family pants, with her. Mm-hmm. <laughs> oh no, madcap naked scene. Oh, and he's going to get in with the fog. He won't be able to see. Oh no. Towel. It's a mitt. This <laughs> is oh, oh my goodness gracious. Oh my goodness. Oh no 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 no. no. Oh, just, come, just, I'm sorry. Let, let, let wow. me just let me just get it. Sandy B. Sandy buns. Sandy cheeks. Looking good. Oh. Oh look who Ryan. Else is <laughs> oh. oh hello. This movie is for everybody. Oh, it really is. <laughs> Truly is a feminist <laughs> film. Hey, the doggy. He's so cute. Hey, the little buddy. You're only going to make my fur fluffier oh my. and more adorable. He is so cute. You like it. Get a pic of it for like a calendar. Yeah. Yes. Show the Take world, it all Ryan. Off. Not to bed. Yeah. That's a good boy. Yes. That's a good boy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, oh yeah! Oh, oh my golly! Oh. They're naked and on top of each other! Why are you both naked? Her are you to Her to two! Oh my god! Her to two! Why are you wet? <laughs> Why are you <laughs> wet? <laughs> jump me out of nowhere? What's oh, that? I didn't, I didn't mean to jump you. Your dog was <laughs> attacking me and I had to run and I ran into you. What is it with you and this dog? <laughs> <laughs> nice tattoo, by the way. What? <laughs> Oh, See that? Barely made it out with my life there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> this is so great. <clears throat> What's the deal with you and your father? Oh, I'm sorry. That question is not in the binder. They give you specific questions to study for? What if the guy asks? Not about that, Margaret. Good night. Just tell her. Open your heart. Come on, man. I like the psychic network. I took disco lessons nice. in the sixth grade. My first concert was Rob Bass and DJ Easy Rock. <laughs> I don't like flowers in the house because they remind me of funerals. Never played a video game. Wow. Started Twitch. <laughs> Haven't slept with a man in over a year and a half. Hmm. 
Oh, oh okay. I, mean, I thought it would be longer. Yeah. <laughs> I went to the bathroom and cried after Bob called me a poisonous bitch. Oh, she cried. Oh. And the uh, bird tattoo. <clears throat> There's swallows. It has to do with her mom or something. Got them when I was 16. Oh. After my parents died. I knew it. Yep. Yeah. I'm sure there's many, many other things, but that's all I can come up with right now. It's a great framing yeah, with him in the negative like, space and they, changing and, yeah. and yeah, we're coming visually closer together. It changed. And the opening up the space in bed next to her. <laughs> it's great. Like you could superimpose the shots to actually match side by side, yeah. right? You really haven't slept with anyone in 18 months? Oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, buddy. Who's. Rob Bass and DJ uh, Easy Rock. Yeah. You know, it, it takes two to make a thing go right. Whoa. Oh. Yeah. Whoa. Well, yeah. Yeah. I know who they are. I just wanted to hear you sing it. <laughs> <laughs> Cute. <laughs> Margaret, you are a very, very beautiful woman. Oh. Oh. It takes two to make a thing go right. <laughs> <laughs> you don't know. God, I can't see. <laughs> <laughs> that looked like a real moment. Oh, so cute. Oh. <laughs> that was so cute. That's yeah, lovely. I really like this movie so Me far. Me too. I'm really enjoying this. Breakfast with a happy couple. Andrew, Andrew, Andrew. Mm. Oh, Andrew. Jesus, no. Andrew, mm. mother's at the door. <laughs> you kidding me? <laughs> Are you wearing makeup? What? No, no, of course not. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god I'm that? sorry it's morning hey you live there cinnamon rolls oh you shouldn't have gone through that trouble that's uh, your family now it's not trouble oh hey, you have room for one more everyone's oh, having boy. breakfast in bed Oh, you, your mother and I have come up with a proposition, and I happen to think it's it's a terrific idea. We the want you to get married here tomorrow. Oh my goodness! Oh. What? Well, you're gonna get married anyway, so why don't you get married here, where we can be all together, and that way Grandma Annie can be a part of it. Dude. It's Gammy's big birthday tomorrow night. We, we don't want to ruin it. That's yeah. you know. That's... I've had 89 birthday parties. I don't need another one. <laughs> <laughs> would be a dream come true for me to see my one grandchild's wedding. Oh, my gosh. Oh. You got to give it to Betty. And you can get married like we did in the barn. It's a Paxton family tradition. Oh, you're Paxton now. I've always wanted to get married in a in a barn. I have. <laughs> so we're just so excited. Yeah. <laughs> 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 so excited. <laughs> Grandma's always got crazy big rings and stuff. You could probably yeah. knock somebody's lights out with one of those. When my mom finds out that this whole thing is a sham, she's gonna she's gonna be crushed, and my grandmother's gonna die. It's not like we're gonna be married forever. Be happily divorced before you know it. It'll be no, but that's exactly what he's worried about. Okay. Yeah. That's the first time right now that she's actually look how like she's affectionate like, with yeah. him. Yeah. He's like, oh, all right, it might be okay. Get a quickie divorce, will be fine. Absolutely. It's gonna be fine. This little miss has better learn how to cook so she can take care of her husband. Uh oh. You just have to focus, Margaret. Just focus. This is a business deal. Just a business deal. Are you there, God? It's me, Margaret. She's got the love bug. Oh, man. She got to go to the doctor and get that extracted immediately. Yeah, man. Her business. It's like a tick. Leads to Lyme disease. <laughs> oh, don't say Lyme disease. We just watched uh, just watched a movie with a weird teeth oh, falling out sequence. Oh, and I don't all... want to know it. <laughs> is that <gasps> drums? Is she hearing that or is this just the music? Is she time traveled? Is it a time travel romance <laughs> too? I mean, it's a popular genre of literary fiction. Sure is. We'd be all right if it went there, but I doubt it. I Oh, snap. oh, it is a summoning of spirits. Is I, Grandma Annie? <laughs> uh, I see you are a curious one. Come, see how I give thanks to Mother Earth. Is she one of those white people who's like 168th Choctaw? <laughs> yeah. Just clings to that. <laughs> we must give thanks and ask that your loins be abundantly fertile. Sure. Follow and learn. He, 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 he
Come on, Margaret, feel the rhythm of the drum. Wednesday Adams is just over there. Louder! To the window, to the window, to the walls, to the walls, to the sweat drips down my balls. Musical touchstones are fascinating. This song must have been very big at the time, yeah. I'm assuming. It's a fertility Whoa. anthem of some kind. Betty White's oh, face is so perfect. Shake it. Let me see you get low. You scared, you scared. Drop your ass to the floor. You scared, you scared. <laughs> Let me see you get low. You scared, you scared. God, I was all about the yin yang twins in high school, boy. <laughs> yeah, you, you, Gammy, you wanted me to chant, chant from the heart. Balls. <laughs> you know, it uh, went, went with the beat. Yeah. Your phone arrived. I'm gonna go in town and pick it up. You wanna come? Oh, yes, I wanna go. I wanna go. Hold on. Is it, uh, is it okay if I, I go with him? Whatever oh. you do is what shall be. <laughs> <laughs> First, I thought she disappeared. <laughs> I thought she like vanished like an actual <laughs> witch doctor or something. Uh, oh my god, it's so beautiful. Now on a boat together, they're falling in love every minute more. How beautiful! Shit, I need a computer. Is there is there a computer in this godforsaken town? Is there a Paxton Apple store? Don't call it godforsaken. You know you're falling for it every minute. God is out there. Or maybe she gets jelly. Yeah, she's gonna go she's fight gonna her. She's gonna get sad. So it was nice to see Gertrude, huh? Yeah. Aww. She looked really pretty today. Oh. Fred, we're gonna have to steal you away, young lady. Oh, no, 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 I'm, I'm just gonna- No, be... not to worry. No strippers, no chanting in the woods. Yeah. Promise. <laughs> We're going for a Manny Petty. I can't believe this is happening. Oh, they're gonna make our wedding dress. Wow. Love it. Because Annie is the best tailor in Southeast Alaska. Oh. Damn. Oh boy. Yeah, buddy. Maybe a tad uh, loose. Grandma had some big oh. ones. Nah, it's perfect. This is how it's meant to fit. <laughs> Leaves a lot and to the imagination. I to be knocked up when I wore this. <laughs> Woo. Let's see if we can find your. <laughs> Savage it. Betty White. It's like an Easter egg. Huh? Uh, <laughs> boy, oh. Maybe they shrunk up in the cold Alaskan air. All p's are good. Uh, yeah, <laughs> agreed. <laughs> maybe we could head down your way for the holidays. That would be nice. That'd be nice. Or maybe we could we could come to you too. You falling in love with Alaska. Oh. Grace, for God's sake, we've got work to do. I know. Sorry. <laughs> Go make yourself a cup of tea. I'll yeah. finish this. Women, their emotions. <laughs> Am I right? Always crying. <laughs> Something now, turquoise. Just one yes. special touch, and you're ready. It's been in the family for more than 150 years. It's, it's beautiful, but I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I'm not finished. <gasps> mm hmm. My great-grandfather gave it to my great-grandmother when they got married. They were quite a scandal, you know. Why? He was Russian and she was clinking. Back oh. then, you had to get approval from every member of the tribe before you got married. Interesting. Mm. Well, how did they stay together then? She was a lot like you. Tough. Wouldn't take no for an answer. Interesting. Is Betty actually part Native American? Curious about this plot thread. I don't know. I want you to have it. I, um, I, I don't want to hear it. I, I, it's, I, I, it's, hmm. Grandmothers love to give their stuff to their grandchildren. Aww. It makes us feel like we'll still be part of your lives even after we're gone. <laughs> Aww. Just wanted to make sure there was enough time to get all the sewing done. Aww. Don't you worry about that. You're going to be beautiful. That's sweet. Some, there's some lovely writing across this. Yeah, like, even that story was like... I forgot I was watching like a script. <laughs> yeah. Know? Yeah. It's so tired. I'm running. Uh. <laughs> there they go. Oh boy. Oh. Going for a She's not having James it. Bond cruising sequence. I forgot what it was like to have a family. I forgot what it felt like to have people love you and make you breakfast. No. Oh, no. You know my daughter, your mother, oh, no. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. What if Gary finds out she's going to have a heart attack? Oh, my God. 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 Oh
is a great reversal. <laughs> oh, Whoa, there she goes. This is coming, Pete. Oh, great. Now, now you decide to shut up, Margaret. No, no. <laughs> Save her. Go to her. She can surely make it to the red thing. Yeah. Come on, give me your hand. Hey, give me your hand. Oh. Come on, give me your hand. Oh. Come on, come on. I got you. Oh, yeah, that's right. She can't swim. Yeah, she Duh. can't Ugh. swim. Yeah, that's cool. why I was like, oh, she could probably. Yeah, she's this probably is like freaking dramatic. out. Yeah. Yeah. Here, get a warm. Come on. Oh. <laughs> that's a really sweet moment. Yeah. And like a an actual legitimate. Yeah, very like, real. Real moment of, of bonding and weathering something together. And like no words, you could just tell she sighed like into him and it was like. Uh, I got a phone call from Mr. Gilbertson here who told me that if you were lying, he would send you to prison. So I flew him up here. Wow, dad. Oh, wow. You're gonna make a statement admitting this marriage is a sham or you're gonna go to prison. You tell the truth, you're off the hook. And she is gonna go back to Canada. Forever, forever, ever? Take the deal. I don't think so. Don't be stupid, Andrew. Do you want a statement? Here's your statement. I've been working for Margaret Tate for three years. Six months ago, we started dating. We fell in love. I asked her to marry me. She said yes. Oh, boy. All right. Oh, man. And this guy's going to be at the reception. Mm -hmm, yeah. You sure about this? Not really. I mean, I am I am very appreciative of what you've done, but I think that... You do the same for me. <laughs> Hope everyone is decent. You need to come with me. Now, tomorrow's your wedding day. You have to give a baby maker a rest tonight. ta <laughs> Yes, ma'am. Give your bride a kiss good night, and if you've got your whole lives to be together. Okay. Yeah. Aww. Oh. My goodness. Get that cannon. Wowza. Wow. It's so pretty. That's a barn. It's beautiful. Yeah. These birch fronds. So pretty. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. Maybe they'll admit it in the vows. I think they're. she's going to have to, right? Because mm. her whole look coming down the aisle does not. She looks too conflicted. Yeah. Oh, oh, geez. Oh, my goodness. We and are course... here today. Oh, my gosh. That was great. So good. Ooh. Do you have a question? Ah, <laughs> uh, no. I, I do have something I need to say. Can it wait till uh, after? Nope. Nope, nope, nope. Read too many novels. I know how this works. I, uh, I have a bit of an uh, announcement to make about the, the wedding. Uh, I am a Canadian. With an expired visa who was about to be deported. Because I didn't want to leave this wonderful country of yours, I forced Andrew here to marry me. See, Andrew has always had this extraordinary work ethic. Ah, uh, yeah. And for three years, I watched him work harder than anyone else at our company. And I knew that if I threatened to destroy his career, he would he would do just about anything. <laughs> Real simp, that Andrew. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so I blackmailed him to come up here and to lie to you. And I thought it would be easy to watch him do it. <laughs> Jeez, man. Turns out it's not easy to ruin someone's life once you find out how wonderful they are. Oh, that's so sweet. Yeah. You have a beautiful family. Don't let this come between you. Oh. Uh -huh. This was a business deal, and you held up your end, but now the deal is off. Wow. Well done. You meet me at the dock. You're giving me a ride to the airport. <laughs> yes, ma'am. All right. <laughs> Oh my God, dude! Come on, <laughs> no chill oh, on this happy. man. <laughs> Just get, let me get my head on straight, okay? I'll, I'll explain everything later. Go to her. Yeah. Run, He's Ryan. gonna do the run, the rom com. Run to the airport. Run, Ryan, run. Oh, did she leave a note? Oh. Oh, oh, I did some she coverage make on it? your work. You were right. This book is special. I lied because I knew publishing meant I'd lose you as an assistant, but you have an extraordinary eye, and I'll make sure we buy this before I leave. Oh. 
Crazy. You know, people are going to be talking about this forever. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's going to be part of my life now. I just feel, you know what the problem is? You see, the problem is that this woman is a gigantic pain in my ass. <laughs> I mean, first, there's the whole leaving thing. I totally understand that. You know, it's a hmm. sham wedding. I love the music cue right here. It's great. She goes ahead and she leaves this note. <laughs> <laughs> Three years I work with this, this terrorist. <laughs> but none of that matters because we had a deal. Andrew. Sorry. You're bargaining with yourself, Andrew. So you're just going to let her go? No, you're not. Oh, swim to her. Yeah, go in that speedboat you own. Call Aquaman. Do some meta shit and get out there, man. You got this. Now that you're leaving voluntarily, it all becomes very civilized. You have 24 hours to head back to Canada. Do you, is it just for the year thing or do you do you have to go forever now? <laughs> yeah, I wonder. Andrew, Andrew, what's I gotta talk to her. Why would you Boy. do that? This has nothing to do with Boy, it. Stop so, wait it. a minute. Stop I'm it. not gonna let you oh. do this. Stop I mean it. it. I'm not asking your permission here. Oh. Listen to Patty. Oh, she's gonna have a Listen heart to attack. Come on. Heart attack. Oh. He's like, Somebody get a doctor. Easy. Easy. Oh, no. No. Dang. Oh, it's like in Moonstruck, where it's like the mom's either dying or not dying, depending on if the, the who's marrying the right person. Oh. Speak to us, Betty. Yeah, tell him. You two need to stop fighting. No. You'll never see eye to eye. Your family. Promise me. Oh. You'll stand by Andrew, even if, if you don't agree with it. Family business, not business family. Promise me you'll work harder to be a part of this family. Mm. <laughs> the spirits can take me. Oh, no, it's not your time. No. What? Is she joking? I guess they're not ready for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I love it. Ah. Uh, Come on. Well, the only way I can get you two to shut up and get us to the airport. <laughs> <laughs> love it. She's and a me. good one. Yeah, you made me cry. It's messed <laughs> up, Betty White. Turn it up back in New York. I'm like Elliot Ness. Oh. Always get my man. Dude, oh, not boy. now. This guy is a lot. Not now, man. He's too much. You know, one as soon as you're in position, you're clear This guy. Off. It's his boy. Yeah, it's his friend. It's going gonna, it's gonna to come in handy. It's going to cause all sorts of air traffic control type chaos. <laughs> run, Ryan, run. Run, run, Reynolds. Dower. Okay, I have a little favor I need from you, buddy. Uh, Margaret's on that plane. I got to talk to her. Can you stop it? Oh, yeah. I heard about your lady, Balin. Dragola. <laughs> Chuck! <laughs> Stop the plane, please. Come on. Need you not to be a drago love Stop it. right now. Stop it. Stop it. No, no, no. Come oh my on. god, you're gonna have to chase the plane down with another plane. You're Airplane gonna... chase. Come on, let's do it. Shoot it down. Let's do it. If she didn't love him, she wouldn't have left. Of course not. Am I the only one Aww. getting this? Oh, Joe. We gotta get Rachel off the plane. Get off the plane. <laughs> Rick and Hunt. None of them know her like Ryan Reynolds does now. No one sees the human inside. Sandy B. Sandy B. <laughs> what? What? Oh, he came. Oh, my gosh. In the middle of the office. Oh, this is even more embarrassing than an airport. I need to talk to you. Yeah, well, I don't have time to talk. I need to catch a 5.45 to Toronto. Margaret. So I need the box oh. to go out today. I want to make sure everything is... Margaret, to stop talking! Mm. <laughs> Three days ago, I loathed you. I used to dream about you getting hit by a cat. Mm. And we had our little adventure up in Alaska, and things started to change. Things changed when we kissed, when he told me about your tattoo. Mm. Even when you checked me out when we were naked. And we got real. Oh. Oh, well, well. I've been naked once before. <laughs> but I didn't realize any of this until I was standing alone in a bar. Oh. Wifeless. <laughs> Wifeless. The woman I love is about to be kicked out of the country. 
because he wouldn't have put all that ab- up with all that abuse if he didn't love you. Yeah, for three years. Marry me. Oh. Because I'd like to date you. <laughs> that's a great line. <laughs> In context, that's lovely. That's awesome. There's a reason why I've been alone all this time. I'm comfortable that way. And I think it would just be a lot easier if we forgot everything that happened. No. Don't go into denial. Give him a choice between what is right and what is easy. That would be easier. I'm scared. (laughs) Very human thought. Oh, (laughs) that guy. (laughs) That guy is really enjoying Mm. this. You're supposed to get down on your knee or something. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take that as a yes. Yeah, Mm. buddy. <laughs> oh damn! Oh, they make it out now. Yeah, do it in front of everybody. Consummate this marriage. <laughs> you two are engaged again. Yes. Yes. For real this time. For real. Yes. Yeah. Oh. Just because one wrong answer, I'm gonna take you down. <laughs> 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 okay. It's a fun version Let's of this, do it. this trope as well. <laughs> nice, nicely done. I That's like the callback nice to the song. To uh, That's right, it man. It is to make a thing go right. When did you first start to yeah. date last week? Oh. Is that going well? So far, it's great. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> Does Andrew use men's speed stick? What flavor? Alpine. Was it love at first sight? Is it flavor or a scent? <laughs> I loved her from the beginning. What side of the bed do you sleep on? Look. Hey. Will they kill each other? No. See you, no. Ms. Fair. We oh, don't use no. the word Margaret around Kevin. He still hasn't warmed up to her. Oh, oh my God, Kevin is so cute. She farts in her sleep. <laughs> oh, no. It's not true. <laughs> Girls don't have that part of their body. No. I call him uh, puppy, pumpkin, monkey, daisy, kiddo. Oh, oh no. Well, when you say, you know, the, the position in the relationship. Top or bottom? <laughs> uh, uh. He knew your favorite color. Green. Blue? Wrong. White. White. <laughs> Air color is ah. blue. What's her favorite color when she's not at home? <laughs> when she's not at home. Yes, I'm a citizen. <laughs> Are you crazy? <laughs> Uh, oh, no. Oh, rough on. Who are you engaged to? Andrew. Very good. Got one right. Uh, no. Who are you engaged to? I'm engaged to Margaret Tate. And on the wedding day, who will be next to you? Uh, what? Is this a game show? I don't understand what... <laughs> this is a fascinating <laughs> medley of moments. Lance da Tylo. <laughs> <laughs> Stand really beside her. Oh my writer, goodness. You know? Land that I love. Uh, oh my goodness oh, gracious yes. me. If you're listening to this on Apple Spotify, Ooh. leave a rate and a review. And give it a thumbs up. Do all the things. Give it some stars. You you know how to do how to do it. Absolutely. I love this movie. I did too. Like, oh my god. Yeah, no, this was so delightful and like, you know, I I love a good romance. I'm often sitting here with the kinds of movies we more often enjoy and and take in thinking like, oh man, would love some romance I can get behind, you know? Yeah. Especially modern movies, like there are times when you're like, oh cool, this doesn't have to be a love story, but now I feel like we've done a lot of that, so now, uh, you know, I'm I'm always like, yeah, bring me some love. But I love this uh, uh, because, yeah, this had all the like, you know hijinks and ups and downs of a of a romantic comedy but it yeah. was just like an actual romance movie you know yeah like it followed all of the tropes of like the run to the airport the the strife that happens and like how they end up falling for each other but there were so many real moments that it was like you can't even be like oh this is supposed to be funny it's like all of it during the whole time with physical humor as well as the pacing and the tone yeah funny when it needed to be and the times when it was like serious without them like really hamming it up. It was just so real, especially like the first time that, you know, um, 
she starts sharing with him in in the bed like all of the things that uh, she likes finds finds attractive all the yeah. stuff about her um and as you said like the the camera was moving from one side to the other to basically change a point of view like that is when the switch happened i think more so between them mm-hmm. and it was just such a beautiful like moment and that this movie was filled with it like when she was with yeah. the grandma with the dress i was like this is so touching and the grandma in the plane like there are some serious little um uh, little spouts from every character are like giving these monologues that normally I feel like in a rom-com would feel like we get it. Let them just get this like trope over with. Mm-hmm. I never felt like this in this movie. No, never not at felt, all. felt yeah. all real. Yeah. It never felt like uh, a, me- yeah, exactly. It's like, it has all the, fami- it felt like reading some kind of romance novel in that everything was well fleshed out. Everything was conscientious. It didn't rest on, I mean, you know, it's the perfect proposal for a movie you know like oh yeah the green card wedding and you know this particular power dynamic and they're gonna go through all the crazy hijinks of yeah learning to actually maybe like and perhaps even love each other Mm -hmm. but yeah it, it never and not to slight other romantic comedies that are more overtly just trying to have fun being that genre Mm -hmm. but yeah there's something about this that felt a bit different and it doesn't feel like a a medley of tropes gleefully strung together like the tropes are in there but it all felt pretty natural just because of the circumstances and so yeah you have you know you don't get too wild and too wacky it's not like meet the parents or something where right you know it's gonna get gross out or anything like that um and i love that yeah it's like you've got her as a Canadian, you know, in this yeah. position to be deported, you got Ryan Reynolds, Canadian actor. <laughs> uh, you know, that's fun. Is this Sandy Canadian too? I don't know. I don't know. Uh, but but yeah, like it's such a you could easily have made this a wackier, raunchier comedy. But I thought this was just the right amount of everything, kind of, yeah. because you know, like it is kind of steamy at certain moments, but it's not like mm-hmm. uh, uh, I don't know, broy about it. It's not like off-putting or or raunchy in that respect. Right. Um, and then like the little moments of you know genuine romance feel genuine, and I love the interplay of like when you can tell she is starting to open up to him. Uh, mm-hmm. And the w- small ways in which he, you know, uh, assumes, you know, a greater power position because they're on his turf now and takes a little bit longer to kind of open up to her. And the back and forth of the journey getting them to the end felt really yeah. well earned and well observed. And, and it never felt can't think of anything that really felt like a contrivance because we need something to happen and the audience will forgive us because you know as long as the chemistry is good we're fine you know like it it never like i I was really kind of impressed because there's some really lovely direction in here it's smartly written and uh and like i don't know a ton of uh and fletcher's other stuff but i thought this had like just the right amount of like it's not in your face with style choices necessarily, but it's like really nicely paced. And the, again, the way it's photographed and the way it uses its settings is really nice. Mm -hmm. And the way, again, in some of those scenes, it's visually representing the changing in their dynamics. I just thought was like really, uh, kind of subtle and, 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 uh, and, uh, graceful, I guess is, is the word I'm looking for. Graceful is good. Yeah. I also thought that in the in the scene where she drowns, because the, the writing in here is so good, but like one trope is like, oh, of course she's going to fall off the boat and like she can't swim, right? Yes. So he's got to save her. That is a trope that we would see. And I think specifically with the direction is what I saw there yeah. is what I really truly liked is that the direction was like, no, you can't swim. Like you're going to be hanging on to this and you're probably like frozen in fear. Yeah. Meaning you can't move. And that moment to me was like so real because any other director or, uh, you know, possible thing of like, oh, it's funny. She falls off the boat. And of course you got to p- p- put her back in and like, you got to warm her up. And now you got to like, you get to hold her. But all of that was 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 just done so grounded and so real. And I love that. I assume the direction was like, hey, like you can't swim. You're panicking. He's really got to like basically peel you off this buoy. Yeah. And then when he does like hold you, it's like you don't you're so amped up. And now you you have no reason to like not even dive into him in yeah. at that time. And you just that need was a, someone, yeah, yeah, some benevolent I really presence to loved hold that. you. 
Yeah, because in an in, in another movie that might have been played just for wackiness. Yeah, and bigger and broader for a rom com world, and that was so real. Yeah, and and I love the way it straddled that line because again, so many of these moments could easily play out in a in a different tonality. Yeah. But yeah, like that bit where he they're careening toward the buoy. It's like a natural reason you would swerve. And then I had that moment when she's like struggling to take the hand off of it to, to reach out for him. I, I, my initial thought was, well, just reach out to him. Was like, You're just in the water. But then I, I realized in that moment the, the plot point hit me and I was like, oh, yeah, like you said, that would be traumatic and terrifying. And you're probably just trying to clutch to any Anything. solid thing and probably not wanting to let go. And even later on in the movie where. You know, she leaves and he is, you know, sort of bargaining with the situation and he's all frustrated now because he's like spiraled out of control. The situation that he did have sort of under what felt like a kind of control is now beyond that for him. And yeah. then she is in like trying to deny the feelings outright and just be like, you know what, I'm just going to leave. It's fine. Like the, the way they still had those very human. It's not just like, oh, well, now he has to go to her and she will say yes and everything will be okay it's like I, I like that they took the time for each of those moments to have they say that like every scene should have a dynamic and have like a structure or have little acts to it mm -hmm. and I feel like this movie was good at doing that yeah because uh, yeah there are so many it, this is the kind of movie that on surface you wouldn't expect to rely so heavily on its actors but it, it, and, and it not does. to say that any other element is fla uh, flagging or anything mm -hmm. but yeah the actors across this have you know, their natural charms to bring, but also everybody has their own feelings and there's at least, you know, you get light looks into the family dynamic. And yeah, you have grandma who is very much, you know, the warm sort of encouraging presence. And then you have mom who's sort of stuck in the middle and like, you know, dad is, wants the best for you, but is being overbearing and is yeah. overstepping boundaries. And mom's trying to hold it all together. And, and all those things registered really naturally and then when they start splitting off the characters like yeah you have freaking Ramon stripping yeah. <laughs> which is fun and delightful so and great. I was totally there for it and I feel like the movie earns you know when it decides to jump into it earns absurdity and, uh, and yeah and, and that was an example of something more fantastical about this movie that I I am a sucker for that trope of like the same guy works everywhere yeah, in town he works everywhere. he's got every job uh, so great. yeah and uh, and even the guy the agent comes out and, and they didn't have to do any crazy thing where we put laxatives in his coffee or something right. like that. You know? Oh, my God. Like, you know, it was... Classic. It, I feel like this is one of those movies where I'm like, no matter who you got cast as, if you're a character, it seems like everybody got to bring some of their chops. And, yeah, it's a great combination of director and script. And it's awesome to see a movie where, I mean, Sandra Bullock... Uh, has given many great performances, yeah. and Ryan Reynolds has too, but I like to see a movie again. I miss the time when Ryan Reynolds wasn't just the Ryan Reynolds of today, where like every role is his particular his. brand of, of demeanor, right. and everything is c kind of Ryan Reynolds slash Deadpool, except for, ironically, Deadpool, because at least he's not beautiful in that role. Right. <laughs> yeah. um, so to see him here in a role that, yeah, capitalizes on his innate voice and charm, it also felt like he's actually playing a character and actually in a situation rather than a movie is happening around him. Yeah, you know? I agree. Yeah, and that was just so so gratifying. And yeah, I was I got all the things I laughed, I cried, I got you know worked up. I'm curious. I want to find out is uh, is is Betty White of Indigenous heritage? Because <laughs> that's one of those. Um, you, you know, like she goes out into the woods and she's like dancing with her, and they're doing this like ceremony. Um, Okay, so she was uh, of Danish, Greek, English, and Welsh. Just it's an interesting choice for that character because part of me was like, I wonder if they did this because because she actually is, or yeah, yeah, yeah. or you know, if uh, if this is an element, it's like they're in Alaska, so I'd have to imagine that if you're uh, if you have grown up there, maybe there's a, a chance, a probability that you might have some indigenous roots to you, right? Um. Yeah, see, like, so that's a bit problematic that she is, you know, the character, I guess, by now standards versus right. 2009. Like, they I wouldn't. wasn't sitting there like, I am offended. But in, in in other, if this was made today, I feel like you would cast would, somebody would not, with a yes. bit of that, you know, heritage. And I like that, that I really liked her story when she's like, yeah, my 
uh, the, my parents, they didn't approve of their union because he was Russian. And, and I forget what tribe she mentioned. But like, right. it's part of the character. It's not like a goofy friv. It's kind of goofy. That scene it is perhaps, I guess, the most prob the the proposal in and of itself is problematic. But that's part of the fun. Yeah. If there's something that's truly like kind of like oh interesting. Again, I wasn't upset, but I am also like ah, this is kind of like a way this hasn't aged the best. Right. But even in yeah, that today, that wouldn't exist. Yeah. Or or again, it would exist with a slightly different casting or, decision right. without a white woman yeah. probably playing it. Is yeah. But as far as those things go, too, it's like. Uh, I'm kind of searching around for some kind of, you know, criticism yeah, in that sense. Yeah, I don't really have any. Because everything, yeah, just it flowed so nicely. And I love that this, I don't know, like, not that every romantic movie should be this, but this had all the joys I get out of watching a romantic comedy, but also mm -hmm. just, like, all the joys I get out of watching, like, a solidly executed and conceived film. Yeah. <laughs> you know? Yeah, and, and Sandra B. like, she yeah. always delivers, but she really... it. It's in the moments where she doesn't say anything and you know what she's yeah. feeling and she's on the verge of like tears when or she feels really hurt when he in the cinnamon rolls with the bed and you just see it in her face. Mm. And then you see it in her face when she's with the grandma and you see it in her face when she's coming down the aisle. So when you say like this film relies so heavily on actors, I think like the biggest thing, and I'm a firm believer in it, is yeah. that half of your job is done with really good casting. Yeah. And I think that's half of directing is being like, this was cast We cast really everybody well. for a reason, yeah. And then you don't really have to stress as a director because you're not going to have to be redirecting or giving line reads, right? You're just <laughs> like, oh, these people, I trust them and we can just roll and just focus really more on the vision of how you want it to come to life, um, which is awesome. And I, I assume like it was kind of a breeze working with these actors and I, I, I like loved it. Yeah. One, two. I mean, like they just a couple straight things. Like I think, for example, Malene Ackerman is a great casting choice because you see her and you think of what kind of a movie you're in. You're like, oh, I know where this is going. Yeah. And it never goes there. Nope. And it lets her use her natural charm, mm -hmm. her those electric blue eyes. Gosh, you man. know, she's she's lovely, but there's yeah. never really aside from like the natural insecurity there's never really any melodrama you know contrived out of that nope. which I, I think is she's is, not trying to win him back the whole time or like yeah. secretly in love with him or trying to like make the other girl look bad yeah. there wasn't any of that which is great yeah they just acknowledge it and it's a it's an anxiety to some extent but then they you know they yeah they use it just appropriately and it's a great combination yeah of casting with yeah what kind of moment we're in yeah. And, uh, and yeah, and even just the way that there are two characters, because also you look at the beginning and you're like, she is completely overbearing and he is completely spineless. Right. A and you can see how that is a toxic loop for sure. But by the end, you can also see, especially with her, just I thought that whole th I thought that was played really nicely because it's so easy to be lost in the surface of their, you know, odd couple back and forth. But when she's mm -hmm. like, no, you have a family, you have people who care about you yeah. and who like want to have a connection with you that you could actually be fostering. And instead, you're just like selling all of your soul to me. Yep. And so like after that point, it just feels like, oh, but I can I can see how opposites attract and I can see how this dynamic that we started with with a little bit of emotional connection connection growth and letting mm -hmm. go of certain baggage could lead to two people who are actually well equipped to lift each other up in different ways. Yeah. And so like that was another cool thing. I wasn't like, oh, this toxicity is just erased now and they're great, perfect people. It's No, it made sense how they could get there. Yeah. And then ending it on the interview that you know is gonna still be a shit show, yeah. I think is, is lovely. So great. It's like right? and, and you're watching the credits and I think that's appropriate because it exists outside the movie and you're like okay everyone's getting all the answers wrong so like right. you know i don't know how this is gonna go but yeah yeah at the same time uh, yeah chef's kiss man I, yeah. I, I had such a lovely time with this bravo like I, this is a movie that i would re-watch like that i'd go I oh yeah buy I'd buy this movie like seriously i loved it so much i so. would show this movie to people in Me fact too i saw a thing i can't remember what it was it was something it was like what's your favorite yeah, maybe it's even just like a random tweet thrown out there of like what's your favorite holiday movie that's not overtly a holiday movie that oh. just either f happens to feature a holiday mm -hmm. or you know is just one that you know during a family setting you know it probably go over pretty well 
Yeah. And like, this is a movie that kind of came to mind just yeah. now. I was like, you know what? This isn't a Christmas movie, but you know, you're no, in Alaska. You're in this little town. But it has like town. a vibe and it's yeah. like, it's snowy. Cozy. And, yeah. And it's heartwarming by the end, but it's mm-hmm. also going to, you know, it's going to hit you in the feels too. I'm like, yeah. It's basically a Christmas movie just without the decorations. Because if there were decorations there, it would just be like, oh, it's a Christmas movie. Yeah. They just don't talk about it because everything is like, <laughs> it's just because it's that like cozy, it's like all alpine. Like it. Yeah. 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 Yeah, yeah, so, yeah. Like, I loved it. Good job. It. Excellent. Uh, like, bravo. Yes. We love this movie. We would share it. We also love you so much. Ooh. Leave your thoughts down below. How much did you love it? Yes. And what other rom coms maybe should we watch? I don't Ooh, know. You there's know, a lot give of us, classics I've not seen. Yeah, give us some juice. You know, we love it. We love you so much. Get Real Reject, you know, like a t shirt if you haven't gotten it already. Oh, yeah, Get on do Patreon. It. Do the right things. You know what I mean? Spike Lee would approve. Get together. We love you so much. That's all we got for you. And we will see you on the next one. Bye.